Hi, uh, Chris Snow here, and uh, I'm actually uh, showing you a picture of the jib track on my uh, own Etchells. It's uh, number 1018. It's a 1995 Bashford. And uh, one of the little projects I'm working on is changing out the jib leads. Um, these are the original uh, track and car that came uh, with the boat. They're uh, made from uh, Ronstan, uh, kind of old. And um, the thing I noticed is that they, the track sits pretty far away from the, uh, the side of the cuddy here. And uh, if you measure it out, the, the sheeting angle on an Etchells is actually uh, pretty wide. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I've already started it, but I'm going to remove this track. And I've already filled in the holes that were there. And I'm going to replace it with uh, this much uh, smaller profile and uh, simpler parking track. And as you can see, it can get much closer to the cabin top. And I measured it out, and uh, it actually pulls the uh, jib sheeting angle in about a degree and a half, which uh, is significant. So I'm looking forward to trying that this weekend. It's a real simple project. Uh, it can be done in, uh, and it's taken me you know, less than a day to do it in, ter in terms of filling all the holes and uh, making it look real nice. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've gotten rid of the adjustable jib lead and I'm just going to this uh, pin um, system, which I think is uh, it's going to be simpler um, and just uh, you know, one less control line to worry about. You don't I don't find that you adjust the jib lead uh, very much in the Etchells, and you can also control the the jib lead through the uh, jib halyard, uh, the fine tune on the jib halyard. You can raise and lower the sail on the forestay and uh, subsequently change the lead angle that way.